do some math. Let's look at page 23. Okay, we have a division problem here. And I know this isn't something we haven't really dealt with yet, so that can be a little overwhelming, but uh, not to worry, not to fear. Here's a little trick. When we uh, divide, we are doing the opposite of multiplication. The opposite of multiplication, okay? So, if we were to do the opposite of multiplication, we can ask ourselves a question. What times three, what multiplied by three, will give us the answer or product, right, answer any multiple product of 36. Well, we can find that out because what we do have here is we have our math facts chart. So we go, what times three will give us 36? So let's look here at the threes column all the way down. It starts at 10, but that's okay. We can go three times 11 would be 33, because remember it's repeated addition, and three times 12 is 36. So the answer is 12. If you were to divide 36 three times, it's 12, okay? 12 plus 12 plus 12 is 36. There's another way to look at that. Okay, number two, this shape is a, well that's a square, and this is a three-dimensional square. And uh, here's, here's something to, to show us. This is a tissue box, right? It's the same thing, right? It's a square, it's three-dimensional, multiple sides to it. This one side of, the, of this is a square, but when there's multiple sides, it's not a square anymore. It is a cube, or a fancy word is rectangular prism, okay? But we're gonna say cube. Uh, you've heard Rubik's Cube before. Rubik's Cube is a common uh, word that you probably know, so that uh, can help you remember that. So this shape is a cube. Let's write that right in there, cube. Awesome. Okay, number three. Estimate this number to the nearest dollar. So this is similar to when they say, um, when they say round to the nearest hundred or around to the nearest 10. This is estimate to the nearest dollar, okay? So how many dollars do we have? We have five dollars, we have 45 cents. So then we're gonna look to the neighbor here. Is that four big enough to make that five become a six? Or will this four press everything else, pre push everything else down to zero? Remember, if it's five and above, you round up, four and down, you go down. So that means it's gonna go down. So estimate this number to the nearest dollar would be five dollars, because it's the nearest dollar, okay? What is the sum of 285 and 537? Remember, sum is the answer when you add. So you see sum, we're talking addition. So let's stack this up and let's do some uh, addition here. 278 and 537. Okay, ready to go. 8 plus 8, 8 plus 7 is 15. 5 here, carry the 1. 1 plus 7 is 8. And 8 plus 3, 8 plus 3 is 11. 1 plus 2 is 3. And 5 plus 3 is 8. The sum is 815. The answer when you add. Okay. Number 5. We have a long multiplication problem. Let's zoom in here just a little bit. Long multiplication problem. But don't worry. Because remember, when we've done problems like this, um, let's go to times, um, let's go, 20, 2 times 20, right? You know 2 times 2 is 4, and add to 0 is 40, right? You know that. We can do the same idea, the same thing here on 62 times 20. So here's how we're going to do this. We're going to multiply 62 times 2, and then add a 0 at the end, okay? So let's pretend for a second this 0 isn't here. 
2 times 2 is 4, right? And then 6 times 2 is 12. So we have 124, and then we're just going to add a 0. Bring the 0 right down. 1,240. OK. Got a time problem here. What time was it two hours earlier? Now, uh, we've seen these before. These clocks are tough, right? They are very tough to read. So I have a much bigger clock here. That we're going to use. Okay. Here's our even higher up here. Here we go. Here's our giant clock. So let's find out what time it is here. So we have the little hand on the one and the big hand on looks like the nine. Okay. So that tells us that the time is 145, right? It's the 5, 10, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, right? So 145. Two hours ago, it's still gonna be 45. The, the minute sign doesn't move. One hour ago, it was 1245. Another hour ago, it was 1145. So just move that hour hand back. Two hours, 1145. There we go. Let's zoom this back in. Time was it two hours ago, two hours earlier, 11.45. You can even say AM, right? Because once it goes past here, it is uh, probably 1.45 PM. So there we go. Billy has 275 marbles. Carol has 347 marbles. Let's zoom out here a little bit. How many more? Remember, that's important. How many more marbles does Carol have than Billy? So when we see how many more, remember it's subtraction, okay? So that means we're gonna set this up. Important information, 279 marbles, 47 marbles. 347 minus 279, okay? So we're gonna to have to go all the way to the left to borrow because we cannot subtract seven from nine or four from seven. So three becomes two, four becomes 14. Have to borrow there. 14 becomes 13 and seven becomes 17. So 17 minus nine is eight. 17, wait, right, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, 17 minus 9 is 8. 13 minus 7, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 6. And 2 minus 2 is 0, so that's nothing. So Carol has 68 more marbles than Billy. And that's today. Quick look at tomorrow. What is this shape? Oh, sorry, you can't see that shape, can you? There we go. What is the shape? Okay, you know, you know that. We have a longer addition problem, some subtraction here. Long, a, 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 a sorry, a word problem, longer word problem here. Marty weighs three times as much as Gil. Marty weighs 75 pounds. How much does Gil weigh? That might be tough. But we'll walk through it tomorrow. Don't worry. What number is halfway between 8 and 32? Remember this, sorry, number 4 is probably something you haven't seen yet, but don't worry about that. Uh, round this number to the nearest thousand. 10, 100, uh, sorry, 1, 10, 100, thousands place. It's in the thousands place, number 7 there. Okay, if Dylan sold 44 tickets, Alan sold 37. Julie, 29, Anita, 57. How many tickets did they sell all together? Remember, all together means addition. Okay, have a great day. See you tomorrow.